Exactor Dunmire's quest line is a bit of a lengthy one, but I'm going to go through every single one of the item locations that you have to pick up, all his different locations throughout his entire quest line, and all the rewards that you get from completing his quest line. Let's get into it. To kick off this quest line, you're going to really need to find a bunch of different items. And first, I'm going to show you where you have to find the Blood Fallasium, which is going to be your very first item that you'll come across. When you get to the Sanctuary section and you fight one of the mini-bosses for the very first time, make your way all the way down until you come across this giant statue of a nun. In front of the nun, in front of all the candles, you're going to find this Blood Fallasium. Next is going to be getting the Book of Sin. And this location can actually be found inside of Hilgrim's Perch. Now I know this segment is going really fast, but I want to make sure that I do this in a more succinct manner than normal, because you're going to have to follow the pathing I'm showing you here to progress Pilgrim Perch in and of itself anyway. This is really just showing you the pathing that really gets you there and some of the side areas around it to make sure that you're going in the straight direction as possible. You're going to come across some of these areas that allow you to have some of the shortcuts, such as the plank that you're seeing here, and then one of the doors that you have in front of you that you have to unlock after taking out all of these different holy enemies that can easily one destroy you from a distance and to knock you off the bridges when you get to the area where the door is barring your path and you have to unlock it make your way all the way down to the bottom until you see the vestige belly they have to pop open in this area where you have to pop open this vestige belly is where you're going to find the book of sin and also while you're inside pilgrim's perch you want to go back to the bell room to get to a different location to get the holy tome this holy tome is actually going to be at the very top of pilgrim's perch if you follow the pathing that i'm showing you here when you follow through all these back caves you're going to come across an area on the top of pilgrim's purse that has a lift and a bunch of enemies but also an archway in the back what you want to do is go to the cage in this archway to get this book forsaken fen is going to be your next location because you're going after vanguard barrow's rosary from the shortcuts that i am showing you here as well from the main vestige point fast travel point inside of the forsaken fen aka the first one that you come across when you get to this umbral bridge is when things really get interesting because you have to defeat a mini boss in this area to progress this location but once you do defeat him make your way around the back as i'm showing you here until you get to an umbral escape and then also this body will have the rosary that you need our next item is going to be gravager gregory's rosary which can be found in lower calrath now the easiest way to get there is by backtracking after you defeated lower calrath's main boss from this location i want you to follow the path i'm showing you as much as possible hopefully you have some of the enemies out of the way because they can be very tiresome and very annoying to go through what you really want to do is backtrack your way all the way until you get to this location where you have to use the armbow lamp to get through this door make your way on top of the ale house which you will have two planks to go across and you'll find Ravager, Gregory impaled by some spears. Grab the rosary and return to Dunmire. When you return to Dunmire and turn in all those different items that we just covered, he's going to ask you to go after Dervla in the depths. This is a boss battle with a remembrance, so I'm not going to cover the entire battle around this. I'm going to show you a quick part of the cutscene so you know who you're supposed to be fighting. Once you have defeated this main boss, you can go back to Dunmire and turn in her rosary. This will really start kicking off his quest line because he has most of the things that he really needs, and he'll start telling you how he wants to study more stuff about the Umbral Realm. He's going to need a couple more items to do this. The first of which is going to be found in Uplo Kaurath, known as the Umbral Tome. Now, I'm showing you the location where you get to basically a halfway point where you start going in side of this inn where you can see a couple different enemies that are based on fire and it's right before you get into the sunless skin location what i want you to do is follow my pathing from the entrance of this inn into the umbral realm where you'll be going across a couple different jumping locations into a small area that you can only access from the umbral realm inside of this area you're going to find this belly that you could pop open which is going to contain the umbral tome that you need now that you have this in your possession make your way back to dunmire at skyrest bridge handing over the tome will make dunmire very happy and kind of ecstatic to try and learn a bit more about this this is when he's actually going to move locations from here to where you interact with the guy inside of skyward's bridge in the umbral realm as he really is trying to start to learn a lot more about the umbral realm and starts twisting his mind a little bit in this new location you'll start to see Doma really getting interested in the umbral realm and really starting to lose a little bit of a grip on reality so he's going to ask you to try and find one more very important item that is related to the umbral realm which is actually going to be found in the tower of penance this item that he wants is going to be called the perception which we found on one of the memories in the tower. 
Now the best way to show you where this location is and this memory is going to be at the very top of the tower which can be very tricky as you can get knocked off by a couple different enemies. But try and follow the pathing as much as possible as I'm showing you every little nook and cranny that you can possibly go. What you want to do is get to the room where you can open up one of the chests and underneath it you'll find a room that's boarded up. Inside of this boarded room is going to be that memory that you need to interact with inside of the umbral realm. It's a memory of a man that's completely lost his reality's touch or just any kind of semblance of anything outside of the umbral realm. Once you listen to the story long enough, you'll get umbral scouring and the perception wisp. But now that you have the perception wisp, you need to find Dunmire, which thankfully is still at Skyrest Bridge in the umbral room where you left him before. Now he really starts going crazy. As you notice from his maniacal chuckling, he will then move locations. This change of location will bring you to the Sunless Skeen's mine. I recommend going to the Vestige of Hooded Antuli because this is going to be your closest location to getting to him. You can follow my pathing if you want to or not using the shortcut ladder, but you really just need to get to the point where you remember the poison bond right underneath one of the mine carts. This is where you're going to find Dunmire. Now, once again, after you talk to him in the Sunless Skeen, he will move locations again. I need you to go back to where you fought the Remembrance boss, Dervla. Once at the arena, again, make your way to the top of the skull where you got the Remembrance reward. You'll see this little area that you can interact with, and you'll also find Dunmire's rosary and his ring. This is when you're going to have to go back to our guy inside of Skyrim's Bridge to pick up something from the Umbral Realm itself or the Umbral Realm shop. Because you can't enter this next location, Mother's Lull, without this particular item. This item that you need to purchase is called an Umbral Scouring Clump. This is something you need to get for 50 Umbral Scouring, so it is a lot of money, but it's something that you have to get to progress this quest line and also to do the Umbral Realm ending if you want to. Return to the arena where you could interact with before and hand over the Scouring Clump. This is going to get a short cutscene that basically just teleports you into Mother's Lull. Inside of Mother's Lull, you'll find a Dunmire kneeling and just staring at the many eyes of Mother in the Umbral Realm, and he has absolutely lost all his marbles. He has gone completely completely insane. He will continue rambling as long as you want to interact with him, but this is going to be the last time that you do see Dunmire. Now I'm going to show you the location after you've interacted with him here that you can fully complete this quest line and get the gear associated with it. Return to the Sunless Scheme, but not into the main part of the mines. Backtrack a little to the first entrance you had while getting into this location. You'll find a bunch of different loot just sitting around. This will be Exactor Dunmire's full armor set, his weapon, and also his catalyst. Picking these up is going to give you the Prince of Knowledge achievement and obviously the entire set of Dunmire. Now this is what the full Dunmire set looks like when you equipped it. It's actually not too bad of an armor set, especially after going through all the trouble to unlock it. Of course, again, you have his catalyst, which is a very strong catalyst, and also his hammer, which is an okay hammer. The catalyst is really going to be your biggest weapon upgrade here. Also, feel free to pause. That way you can take a look at the stats of all these different armor, weapon, pieces that come with this quest line to really see if it makes sense for you to go through this, if you really want to go and get these different items, or just to complete the quest line in general. And you can't forget the ring of Exactor Dunmire's ring, the stat where it deals additional posture damage upon executing a perfect block. Fantastic for those that do a lot of blocking in this game. But that is the entire quest line for Exactor Dunmire. I hope you guys did find this quest line guide very helpful. If you did, make sure to hit the like and subscribe buttons, leave a comment down below, and I hope to see you guys in the next video.